Thanks for watching Inside the Studio with Greg Wirth. And in this episode, I'm excited to talk about this great new plugin by Lindell Audio and also Plugin Alliance called the TE100 Tube Equalizer. Uh, this is modeled after the beast of a unit. And I first, I first, the first time I ever saw one of these in person was when I stopped by Rafa Sardina's studio. I actually, uh, I was delivering him his Oracle summing mixer. Uh, and he had like four or six of them. And I was like, wow, I was just completely blown away. I'd never seen him in person. And he was so excited about them because he said that they're one of his favorite EQs. There's like 12 tubes in it and whatnot. So I was super stoked to see that those guys teamed up and made this a plugin. And Plugin Alliance and Lindell, they're, they're doing great work together. So this is definitely a hit. Um, just at first at glance, it's kind of overwhelming because it's kind of like, what are these parameters? It doesn't look like a traditional EQ, but it, it's, it's really straightforward. And it's actually pretty uh, intuitive the way it's laid out and it's, it's versatile. So, uh, you know, it, it's got a low and a high section that are pretty much identical. Um, you can, you can adjust the boost frequencies here, which is at, at a shelf. And the linear is basically bypassing the EQ filter, but it's still keeping it in the tube stage. And this switch, this dB octave switch adjusts the curve. And um, over here, you can, you can cut 60 Hertz. And then this is where you can boost. And then also you can adjust the curve of the low cut side, the filter, which is great. It's uh, super musical sounding. So you got all these selections. And the same thing over here, you know, you can adjust the high frequencies and whatnot. And uh, this is the this is the really cool section, uh, the bandpass filter section. And uh, it's <laughs> I've never seen an EQ look quite like this, and it's actually exciting. This is the the lower bandpass, and this is the upper. So basically, what these switches do, they give you these frequencies. And you select one on the top and one on the bottom, and that actually adjusts the width of the booster or cut that you're going to do, um, which is really cool. And, uh, you know, you got up to 14 dB of boost here. And this section is, you can tell it to, to boost or you can tell it to cut. And again, you got this linear switch, which disengages the filters in the path. And the same thing on the high end. So it's a really cool thing. Uh, so let's just get to it. I, I got this one track. You might have heard it in some other videos. So let me just play the track, get familiar with it, and I'll show it. Show you like the drum and bass. Okay, so this uh, this is a band called Boom Boom Boom, and this this recording was recorded completely live. So there's a lot of leakage and whatnot. So keep that in mind when you're listening. So take a listen to these drums. Okay, so this is a non-traditional drum kit. It's a cajon with some percussion and stuff around it. So it's a little trickier to get those frequencies to pop out the way that you would with a traditional kit. But what's going on here is just um, I'm filtering out 40 hertz on the low end. And I'm just, I'm not boosting any of these here. And I'm doing a little notch out at between 300 and 850 is the width. And so taking about two dB out of there and then doing like a, like a, you know, three dB boost. And I got it set between 600 and 13. So it's 13 K it's giving it a little brightness and, um, you know, tiny, tiny bit of shelf boost here, six and a half K. I'm really happy with that. And then the next one here, we have the base. And this, this is an upright bass here. 
So take a listen to this without anything on it. So you can hear a little leakage, it was mic'd, and take a listen to what I got here. This is definitely a monster of a plug-in. Uh, it just gives nice girth. Um, what's going on here is filtering out 40 hertz again, and then I'm just boosting between 60 and 500, and that's getting a little of that weight going on there. And then we're doing 3.2 to 4.8, a little boost 4 dB. Right away, this plug-in just delivers. It's, it's amazing. I mean, even electric guitars and things like that, I, you know, maybe in another video I'll get in depth on that, but this is a really, really cool plugin. And it and what's exciting is it's, it's unique. Personally for me, I'm pretty exhausted with all these clones out there that are just mimicking things that, you know, there's a hundred other versions of. And, you know, for some people they dig that, which is fine. I don't want to take that away, but this is unique and, this is something that excites me tremendously, and I hope it excites you too. So thanks for watching Inside the Studio with Greg Worth, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel and my newsletter on my website. And I don't know if you caught my message uh, in the last couple of days, AES 2016 is coming up in Los Angeles. And if you're in town, please come by. You can go find a free pass, just look it up on social media. You can get in for free. It's pretty easy. And I'm doing tons and tons of giveaways. I'm teaming up with a lot of brands that I have great relationships with, and they're participating in this giveaway with me. And so you guys are going to have a chance to win free stuff, amazing stuff, and just come check out the Oracle. I'm doing a live demo so please come by, check me out. And if you can't make it, I'm going to be doing a bunch of videos. So hopefully I can give you a little experience about what the show was like for those that didn't show up. So again, thanks for watching. Take care.